any viewers, so today is Inside Eliza Light number 30. I actually got this out in a timely manner, I think. Maybe. Maybe I didn't just change myself by saying that. So, Inside Eliza Light is where you ask me questions and I answer them as long as they're not offensive or rude. And they haven't been so far, so don't get any ideas. <sighs> Someone's not getting an idea. Um, yeah, let's just get started. Snaztastic asks, which new show starting in the fall am I looking forward to? New shows? There's not that many <laughs> that I'm looking forward to personally. Um, I hate this chair. It squeaks too much. Anyway, that's totally off topic. Minority Report might be good. I love the movie and this takes place after the film franchise. Not franchise. Film ends. Just go with that. I don't know though. I'll have to look. I'll just have to watch and be like, make, I can't even talk. Minority Report. I'll check it out. Just that's all I'm going to say before I butcher any more war words. Really? Really, Alyssa? Really? Minority Report 1. <laughs> um. Ugh. Gosh. I'm thinking through all these shows and I'm really not excited for any of them. Oh. Oh. Gosh. I should have prepared ahead of time for this, but I never do. You think I learn? I don't. Um. There's a lot of returning shows I'm excited for. But new shows, not really. If I think of any more, I'll just put them in the video somewhere. Because I can only think of a minority report at the moment. Sad. <laughs> Two, have I watched the new show Public Morals? If so, what did I think? I have not seen it. Let me know how it is, and let me know if I should check it out. Three, have I watched Bloodline on Netflix? No, because I don't have streaming, and I do want to watch it, but I have to wait till it comes out on DVD. And it sucks, because I don't have streaming. I wish I had streaming. Four, do I have any mantras that I live by? A few, like they're not really like sayings or anything, but what I like to live by is life doesn't go as planned because I've learned that and it doesn't. Like you think you'll have this life, like you've planned your life out. Everyone does this, at least to a degree. You plan your life out. You're like, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, yada yada yada. And it won't deviate. It does deviate. <laughs> Everything I planned in my life deviated. And that's the thing. You just have to roll the punches and accept that your life is not going to go the way you thought it was going to go. And that it could still be amazing. Like, sometimes it could be even more amazing because it doesn't go the way you thought it would go. So that's definitely one. Just roll the punches with life because it's not going to go the way you want it to. It's going to screw you over. It's going to change. It's going to surprise you and shock you and <laughs> leave you devastated. But... It's beautiful and you know I've learned that very recently <laughs> and I can't complain I mean with that in mind I have you know another thing is I've learned very much that I am indeed beautiful it doesn't matter what other people say what other people think I am beautiful and I've had so much happiness brought in my life even though I've been kind of depressed lately like there's been so much happiness that I can't take that for granted so, and another one is I can and I will. Now, I stole this from Gina Rodriguez, the star of Jane the Virgin. But it's just basically saying that if you don't give up, if you keep fighting for what you want, you will achieve it. You will do it. It will happen. So, I can and I will. Because I'm a strong woman. I'm determined. I'm stubborn. I'm driven. So, everything I want to achieve in life, it's going to happen. Because I'm going to make it happen. So, those are my mantras. Justin Finnegan asks, am I interested in Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire Emblem? Yes. I love both of those franchises. I need it now. Where is it? Come on. Come on, people. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. 6060766 asks, did Until Dawn make me jump? A few times, but um, a lot of the times I knew what the jump scares were going to be ahead of time. Like, I just knew it was going to be like this thing pop out and it popped down. And I was kind of like, ah, oh well. A couple times it did get me. But it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, and <laughs> I don't know why. So many people found this game terrifying, and it didn't really do that to me. I mean, it kept me on the edge of my seat, but it wasn't like nightmare material or scream material. You know, it was just kind of like a few jump scares and then, you know, tension for me. But don't ask me about scary stuff, because the only things that scared me really are demon possession and then like clowns and talking dolls. So, there you go. Everything else doesn't scare me. <laughs> And two, am I getting Fatal Frame Maiden of the Blackwater in October? I would like to, but since it's a digital only download, 
I'm kind of like, eh. I don't have a problem with uh, downloads, it's just they take up so much room and they take forever to download. <sighs> and I like to have the physical copy. It's just, I want to play it though. Like, I love the Fatal Frame series. Arkham Assassin asks, do I like card games like Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh-uh. No. I just, I don't understand the rules and it doesn't matter how many times people explain them to me or how many times I read them. I just don't understand it. I'm just like, why does this move have this many points? What does this do? Like, what's the point of this? Like, I guess I can't imagine it happening and I just can't compute the rules. So I'm just like, I like to look at the cards but I can't play. AD Kara K asks, how many to twos? tattoos do I have? I have two to stay strong on my wrist and then I have an eighth note musical tattoo on my right foot. And then she asks, Axe, I can't talk. What would be my next one? I am planning on getting a matching tattoo with all the cool kids at Texas Friday Weekend next year, which right now I think, well, I don't know if they want me to say, so I won't say what it is, but we are planning on all getting matching tattoos. I know everyone's like, don't get matching tattoos, but I mean, we're not like in a relationship with each other. I mean, yeah, we're planning on marrying each other and living in a kiki commune, but I mean, we're soulmates. <laughs> It's just, it's going to be something that will really remind me of that event. And plus, I can relate to other things in my life, too. So it's not something I'm going to regret. I already know that. So that's my next one I have planned. Eric's World asks, What college did I go to? This crappy community college called Wallace State Community College. Don't go there. It's terrible. No one wants to go there anyway. It's, eh, don't get me started on it. <laughs> Zombie Space Waffles! Congratulations, Erica and Adam, on your engagement. I am so happy for you, and yeah, I love both of you so much. Mwah. Asks, if I were a flavor of ice cream, what flavor would I be and why? Do you want to eat me? That sounded dirty, I know. <laughs> um, I'd probably be cookies and cream, because that's my favorite flavor. I just want to be my favorite flavor, and... It's just really sweet and, you know, it's just awesome, so <laughs> cookies and cream. JBC131 asks, am I planning to watch The Walking Dead spinoff show? I already have and I love it, even though a lot of people hate it. I actually really like the slow burn psychological aspect of it and I really enjoy it. I mean, if you like The Walking Dead, definitely check out Fear of the Walking Dead. And she also asked, do I like Atome games? I think I said that right. Uh, I don't think, I've, have I played any? I don't think I've played any. I need to, I need to play some. Those are the, um, female dating simulators, right? Where you're the girl and you pick the guys, you know, instead of the other way around. That's right, isn't it? I could be totally wrong. But no, I haven't played any of those if that's what it is. <laughs> um, Wrinkly Kong asks, am I getting Super Mario Maker? Not playing to at the moment just because I'm not a big fan of games where you create your own levels and then have to play other people's levels. I'm just not a fan of that. Like, I didn't like Little Big Planet, that aspect of it. And it's just, I don't know. I mean, if enough people said it was good and wanted me to get it, I probably would. But at the moment, I'm not playing on it. Nintendo Addict asks, am I going to do a playthrough of Xenoblade, <laughs> bah. Xenoblade Chronicles X because I should. Uh, I don't have the equipment to do a gaming channel, so probably not, and I don't know when I'll get the game. I won't get it on launch day, I don't think, but I will do a review on it if you guys want me to. My reviews don't get a lot of views, but if you request it, and enough people request it, I'll do it. Horror Man Cave, hi! Hi! Asks, what do I think about the Gremlins reboot? He's hoping it's not overlay with CGI. Me do. Um... I love the original Gremlins, and I don't know about a remake, to be honest. I just, I love the original Gremlins. I mean, I probably still watch it because I watch every remake of a movie I enjoy. And sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. But I don't know. I mean, oh gosh. I just don't want them to screw up Gizmo, okay? <laughs> don't screw up a sweet baby Gizmo. Joe Manganaro. I still don't know how to say your last name, dude. Mango Joe, tell me. Tell me. Asks, what do I think of the upcoming Ghostbusters reboot? Oh, so many reboot questions. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the idea. And I know people are going to be like, what? But it's, it's for women. 
But the thing is, I love the original Ghostbusters, and I really can't imagine those women being the Ghostbusters. And the thing is, I don't think any of those women are funny, to be honest. So I'm just like, eh. Like, I'm just like, if it would have been a different cast, maybe. I'm just not a fan of Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy, Kate McKinnon, and who's the other one? Don't even know. I'm not a fan, okay? I'm just not a fan of those women. So that's kind of like, I don't... That was my, that's my answer. Um, that's it. So if you have any questions for me, leave them down below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. You might have to bug me to answer them because sometimes it takes me forever to film these. But do it. Just bug me because I'll do it if you bug me enough. If you like this video, please leave a like. Let me know down below what you want to know from me about anything. As long as it's not offensive or rude. Uh, favorite the video so your friends can look see. Share me as long as you do it nicely and subscribe for more goodies. And if I reach 1500 subs, alley cats, you're not subs, why did I say that? Alley cats, I'm gonna give away a mystery box. So do it. Because you want to win a prize, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you want to win a prize? Okay, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna go. I love each and every one of you very, very much. Peace and kisses. Bye.